So I'm standing here with Brian Stoner from RTI International from the States. His project is called a self-contained waste treatment system. And Brian, my first question to you is, what makes this project unique and stand out amongst all the others here? I think there are a lot of unique projects, but what we've attempted to do is to simplify taking human waste, feces and urine, and we just dry and burn the solid waste and we take the salts that are in urine and convert those into disinfectants. So I think what makes it unique is it's a very simple way of doing both of those operations in a fully integrated system. And how successful has it been so far in your trials or what have, what have been your biggest achievements? So we're, we're a round two awardee, so we started about 15 months ago and this is the first integrated prototype, the one that you see here. And so it's been demonstrated on simulants, but right after, right after the fair here, we plan to take it to Ahmedabad to start field testing. So. And uh, what have been your biggest challenges that you've had uh, to overcome or that you're still struggling with? Very good. Um, the biggest challenge is it operates very well if you have consistent inputs. So the challenges that we've seen so far and the ones that we expect to see going forward are in variations in both material that comes in, feces variations. If you, if you have just a regular feces, bristol stool, if you like that, three or four, works really well. But if you start to see large variations, so on the processing consistency, that's what worries us most going forward, and I expect that that'll be the major challenge. The other, the other concern or issue that we're dealing with is temporal inconsistency. If you have 20 people coming in the morning and then nothing for a while, and then 20 people again. So as we move forward, we hope to make it more process robust. Speaking about moving forward, um, how many more years is it away from real life implementation and what's your technology readiness level? Okay, so we have finished what, what the foundation would call a TRL-6 stage uh, testing. Over the next year we will have this system near Ahmedabad and we will have a second generation prototype coming with it in about nine months. So we expect to go into limited field testing in the next year and what that means is more user perception with very controlled uh, operational evaluation. And then over the next two years we'll get more and more rigorous in our operational field testing. So in the beginning mostly user perception, towards the end of two years more operational tests. Um, have you had any collaborations on yes. any of the components with the other grantees? Very rich. So we've actually invited other, uh, other PIs from different programs to come to our quarterly program reviews. So from Euling from Toronto, Mark Deschus from Duke, and also Jerry Deal from Santac. We've collaborated with them on many different levels. And then from the fair here, we have a lot of new opportunities going forward. Cranfield's a great opportunity and Loughborough as well. And uh, which component of your process is the one that the others are maybe also tapping in? Good, so, so with uh, the Toronto group, we share the fact that we're drying and combusting mm -hmm. the, the feces. So that's given us a lot of good lessons to share. Cranfield, we're dealing with liquid treatment. The Santec uh, process, they are very good at taking an engineering design and improving its robustness. So we've had him just look at our engineering integration and find ways to improve it and also manufacture it more effectively as we move forward. Great, really interesting. Thanks very much. Absolutely. Thank you.